is up everyone happy monday i'm so sorry i'm late this afternoon was really busy had to uh run to the grocery store tonight on my way home from work and you know putting away the groceries and washing the produce and all of those things you know just trying to get myself ready to stream and clean up the kitchen and all of that um spend a little bit of time with funky before i got started i'm running a little bit behind so i apologize about that but we are making barbecue chicken pizza and Italian sub salads tonight. Um, we've made pizza on stream before, so we're gonna make the dough and then we'll prep the uh, toppings while it rises and we'll make our salads. I've actually never made these salads before. I found them on Pinterest. They look really yummy. It's like a keto salad, so it's got like Italian sub ingredients, but no bread, just in a salad. Um, kind of like the salads you get at Subway, I guess. I don't know, it looks really awesome. We're gonna give it a try. We're going to make some homemade salad dressing for it and all those good things. But first thing we're going to do is get our stuff out to make our pizza dough. I hope everybody had a good Monday. Good start to their week. And get out some active dry yeast here. And then we need, what do we need? We need olive oil. Olive oil. We need some flour and we need salt and we need honey and we need hot water. Uh, the pizza dough recipe is on my website at datenightin.com. Same recipe that we always use. Get these measuring things out. attachment for the kitchen aid. So the first thing that I usually do for our pizza dough is we take a clean mixing bowl and put a little splash of olive oil in it and we're going to spread that around the bottom of the bowl because this is going to be the bowl where our Hi, Cumie. How are you? Happy Monday. Oh gosh, cat cam. Give me a second to wash my hands. I got olive oil on me, but I will do cat cam. <laughs> um, so we put some olive oil in the bottom of the bowl. That's going to be where our pizza dough is going to rise. Yes. He's going to be mad because he's asleep, but that's okay. Um, that's okay, no worries, you're good. I know I put in the title to check out the channel points, so everybody's gonna be doing it. Uh, but yeah, so we're putting some olive oil in the bottom of this bowl so that the dough doesn't stick and it can rise. Let me get the cat, hold on. Can you say hi, people? Say hi, Cumie. Hi. <laughs> Say, I'm grumpy. I am very grumpy. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Sorry. I know you're good. <laughs> I put a new channel point redemption for um, Cat Cam. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Good. And fun fact. Fun fact. So, Cumie redeemed Cat Cam. <laughs> Interesting fact. <laughs> I can't wait to eat those. Hi, Owen. How are you? Oh, three of them will be here tomorrow. Oh, six of them will be here tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. Is anybody a fan of the Big Bang Theory? Funky just got me a cool present related to that show. Just the right amount of chunk. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little chunky. He just got loose skin. Um, okay, so we're going to put about a tablespoon or so of honey in the bottom of this bowl. It's going to be a sweetener for our pizza dough. And then we're going to put one cup of hot water, or warm water, I should say, in there. You don't 
don't want to exceed like 100, 105 range because it'll kill your yeast. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? He said yeast. <laughs> okay, go away. <laughs> Uh, good thanks. Love the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> yes, great show. We were watching it all day yesterday on our day off, and Funky got us some signed prints of the Big Bang Theory characters. Howard, Penny, Leonard, Raj, and Sheldon. Steal of a lifetime, baby. And frames to put them in. Oh, I got the frames today. There are. I think they'll fit in the frames. Yeah. I was worried about that. I was trying to find the cheapest frames I could, but... We're going to let that water cool down for a second. Don't want it to be too hot because it'll kill our yeast. How did everybody's Monday go today? Kumi, I know when I popped in your stream earlier, you said you got up early. Hopefully you are still doing okay. I'm mixing terribly. Georgia football, Pittsburgh Penguins hockey. Hey, Funky, how did stream go? I'm about to go start again. I thought I was having a phone call with a manager, but apparently I'm just chopped liver. We were trying to talk to a potential manager, but didn't uh, work out schedule-wise, I guess. Well, I called him, he didn't answer. Ah, he called him, he didn't answer. He didn't answer. So. He's going to go back and do a couple more hours of streaming. We've been grinding out, trying to get stuff done. We want to make this full-time stuff, y'all. Trying to make it work. Oh, no, Toby threw up. Our cat threw up on Saturday night. Tuesday now, your brother's coming down later. That's awesome. Very cool. All right, I'm jumping back on. All right, love you. I love you. Have a good stream. I love all you guys, too. I don't know if y'all can hear me or see Owen me. Owen says, ooh, I'll be there on my laptop, Funky. Yes. They can't see you. They can't see me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I can't reach over. Oh, I'm trying to Go jump on the couch. that way. <laughs> Hi, Sass. How are you? Sorry, I was trying to wave, and I tried jumping over the counter, and I kind of hurt Bye, other you. things that shouldn't be hurting. Okay. Well, be careful. Hi, hey, Survivor. We're hey, making pizza. Oh, there's a hernia. Okay. Oh. Can you please not, like, create a hernia trying to jump over the counter? There it is. <laughs> oh, goodness. Do a shout-out for Funky. I still don't Yo, follow him. Up? Oh, um, Cumie, he doesn't stream on Twitch anymore. He streams on Facebook Gaming, but I will type it out for you. I gotta, I'm terrible, and I don't have a link for it, but. Facebook Gaming. So you can search that on Facebook Gaming. All right, so we have a tablespoon of honey. We're doing a cup of warm water. We're gonna let that honey and water uh, come together and sort of, I guess we want the honey to combine in with the water and start to dissolve. And then we're going to add in our yeast. Survivor, how was the end of your stream today? He's playing some Rocket League. Having a bad day trying to find some kind of light. Well, we're here and we're light and we're happy to have you. So thanks for being here, friend. <laughs> I got to turn music on. Alexa, play country music, right? I gotta get that set up. I don't have an Alexa though, so you'll have to give me a second. I gotta be a, a noob and do it manually. <laughs> um, but got a lot of streamers here. So let's shout some people out. Check out Sass. He plays Destiny 2 most of the time. The picks. Sass. You can't make fun of my Pittsburgh shirt. Come on. You know this. I am a Pittsburgh. Fan. Through and through. Born and raised. Cannot help it. Pittsburgh going to the Super Bowl. All those kinds of things. Let's go pens. Let's go pens. <laughs> Love it when you guys stop by chat. Yeah, I stopped by today while I was at work. A lot of times if I'm in between meetings... I'll stop by so that I can listen. Um, like Rusty, I stopped by his stream today too. I love popping by everybody's chat though. Okay, so Sass usually does Destiny 2. Survivor plays Rocket League a lot. If y'all know Rusty, he plays with Rusty. 
Kumi does Stardew Valley, and she makes emotes on stream and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and then... Owen. Oh, Owen plays the same game Kumi does. I always miss your streams. You must be streaming at a time that doesn't work in my schedule. Let me grab my remote so I can put some music on. And we will go from there. Shout out to Day Night <laughs> About to be streaming tomorrow. Got to get back going. Sweet. What time are you going to stream, Sass? I'll pop by. I've been trying to listen to streams at work. I used to listen to uh, music in the background. And I got sick of a lot of music that I was listening to. So I ended up doing... Um, ended up doing a lot of TV shows in the background instead. And then I don't know if anybody likes like podcasts or if you guys are into like crime stuff true crime stuff I am <laughs> um, I used to be an investigator for child protective services so super into like true crime and like unsolved mysteries and all that kind of stuff <laughs> so I was really hooked on um, the podcast serial I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it season one about a non Sayed and his case fascinating like I got so wrapped up in it like I couldn't wait to like finish a meeting to listen to the next episode <laughs> so I would listen to it like on the in the car on the way to work and at work when I wasn't in meetings and things like that but now I have so many streamer friends that I just pop in other people's streams when I'm not in meetings and listen and type in chat when I can um so that's what I've been doing lately you stream at horrid times for your American fan base well if you're ever live when I am not streaming. I will check you out. <laughs> for sure. It's tough because, like, I work most of the time. Oh, and thank you for the host! <laughs> I appreciate you, friend. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, a lot of times I'm, like, popping into people's streams while I'm at work and I'm just listening to y'all in the background. Like, Rusty was playing marbles with everybody today and I was like, I wish I could play! But <laughs> I'm just listening. But I hope you all have fun. <laughs> All right, so let's put on. Country roads, <laughs> take me home. All right, so we added our honey to our warm water. We're gonna put some yeast in there. This is one active dry yeast packet. It's the same as two and a quarter teaspoons. <laughs> International Harvester. Oh my gosh. So what's so funny is when Funky and I went on our last road trip, we were listening to that song over and over because it kept getting stuck in my head. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. I love it. That's hilarious. International Harvester. All right, so we're gonna let that yeast rise for about five, 10 minutes or so, uh, or proof as they say, and then we'll mix in our flour and salt and olive oil. So we need, this is pepper, what am I doing? We need half a teaspoon of salt. This is a quarter teaspoon measure. So half a teaspoon right there. Rusty rhymes with the host. Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. All right. So we got our salt. We're letting that yeast proof. We're going to measure out some flour. We need two and a half to three cups. measure this out here how are you doing rusty y'all check out rusty he's doing a charity stream this week for an awesome organization that helps out kids who are sick and in the hospital and in domestic violence shelters so y'all go check out did he disappear 
What alcoholic beverage do I have? I am drinking uh, whiskey and lemon and peach honey seltzer. It's Crown Royal with some lemon and some simple syrup and some peach honey seltzer. All right, so we got about two and a half cups of flour there. Oh, Colback is now following. Thank you for the follow, Colback. How are you today? New poll, what should I drink? Bud Light Lime. Ooh, always Bud Light Lime. What are the other choices, though? Bud Light Lemonade. I have never, ooh, Jack Daniels, no, you're gonna have a bad, no, you're gonna have a bad time. Sass, are you, are you a South Park fan? <laughs> Every time I think about like when you're gonna have a bad time. Hi, Mr. Sellis91, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm gonna go with either Bud Light Lime or Bud, Bud Light Lemonade. I've never had the lemonade, so you're gonna have to let me know how it is if you've never had it, because I wanna try it. Um, so if you're a South Park fan, when I think about Jack Daniels, you're going to have a bad time. If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> oh, goodness. I walked into Crown Royal. This should be good. Hi, folks. What's up, Skiwishes? Bud Light is coming. Strawberry lemonade? Nuh-uh. Oh, Mrs. Ellis. Sorry. Mrs. Ellis. How are you? I'm sorry I, bu I butchered that, but I'm glad that you're here. Uh, yeah, Sass, I was not a South Park fan until I met Funky, but that was like his, like, single days show. He would watch that by himself. Um, so I was always watching it with him when we first started dating. And I loved that episode where they go to Colorado. If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm trying to teach the kids how to, uh, how to ski. So funny. Thank you for following Mrs. Ellis91. I appreciate you so, so much. For you guys who are new, my name is Kyle. Um, a date night in is my blog. We're here to bring dinners, drinks, desserts, and date night ideas. So tonight we're making homemade pizza and Italian sub salads. So let's do a little menu here so y'all can see. Uh, that's my website, my blog, where all the stuff is. Um, so we're letting our yeast proof in some honey and warm water and then we're going to add salt and olive oil and flour and let that rise while we cook some chicken because we're making a barbecue chicken pizza tonight and then we're gonna make our salad you're drinking tonight all right what are you drinking I'm drinking too cheers to that Woo. you need a toilet and snack perfect time to eat food and drink coffee do it do it do it So yeah, we did a tablespoon of honey, one cup of warm water, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and let it rise in this bowl. Cheap beer. What kind of cheap beer? I like cheap beer. I was just drinking a Michelob Ultra. That's a cheap beer. <laughs> Where is the cameo of Hubby? Um, Hubby is outside on the patio talking to a potential um, SEO manager. So, hi, girly girl, how are you? Yes, I love pizza, too. Great comfort food. I'm super excited to make pizza. Our pizza dough is awesome. Steel Reserve. Mrs. Ellis, where are you from? I have never heard of that beer. Yeah. Can't, yeah, hubby's outside talking to an SEO manager, and he's going to be streaming. Won't be long. Remember, you're all amazing and wonderful. Thank you, Owen. We love you. All right, so we're gonna add in salt here. Give that a minute. Texas, all right. I've had Lone Star beer. I had some friends when I lived, excuse me. The seltzer makes me burp a lot. Um, I had some friends when I lived in, so I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, born and raised, lived in Atlanta and an hour away from Atlanta for about three and a half years. And then um, now I live in Orlando, Florida. And when I lived in Atlanta, I had friends who were from Dallas and they drank Lone Star beer. 
Um, and so they got me hooked on that. So I like Lone Star. That's about the only Texas beer I've had, though. Never been to Texas. Cheap beer that knocks naturalized black man and kicks. <laughs> All right. I haven't had a Natty Ice in a couple years. <laughs> it's been since my college days. But... All right, let me get out a towel so we can wrap that around our. Oh, hold on one second. I gotta grab one from over here so we can wrap our dough up when it's ready to rise. Grab from the clean laundry basket. Natter days. <laughs> yes, my natter days. You've never heard of Lone Star? But yes, welcome. We're glad that you're here to our two new followers. I'm so happy that you guys are here hanging out with us. All right, so we're gonna give this a stir. Then we're gonna start to add in our flour. This is about two and a half cups. If we need more, we'll add about another half cup. Usually about three cups does it. You want to buy stuff you don't need? Yeah, I am that meme. Like, when you're therapist, and what do we do when we feel that way? Add to cart. <laughs> it's me on Amazon. Um, so I feel you sass, but don't buy stuff you don't need if you can't afford it. If you can afford it, do it, you know? All right, so we're going to let that um, mix up. She's insane in a good way. Okay. I don't know how I feel about Baskylicious, but I'm, I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it. We have fun here. There's that. We have fun. Alright. So I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl here because I got some flour that is sticking. I'm just trying just by being for the past few minutes. Well, good. I'm glad you're having fun. I don't know what to buy. <laughs> you mean it out of friend love. All right. I'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> I try to have fun. I, I have a stressful job, and this is a good stress reliever. I work in mental health, so I'm happy to be here with you guys and having fun after work. Um, my job sucks right now. It's just it's so stressful. But I'm, I love cooking, and this is my happy place. I'm cooking anyways, might as well have y'all along for the crazy ride. All right, so we actually need a teeny bit more flour. Two and a half cups wasn't quite enough, so we're gonna add a little bit more. It's off for a second. Adding another quarter cup. Oh, looks like it'll about do it. So then once that's done kneading for about two minutes, we're gonna let it rise in this bowl and we will make our salad and our toppings. So it's 8.25, we're gonna let that rise, or um, knead for about two, three minutes. I actually tired early for once, 1.30 a.m. Yikes, late for me, but. Get on board guys, we going for a ride, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, I'll put this back away. I'm excited for the salad that we're making tonight. I haven't made this before, but it looks really good. Um, let's see if I can find a picture of it while that needs. It's called an Italian sub salad. things in there it's gonna be delicious you rock our world in the twitch world that's why we come back no more buttering you up all right works for me <laughs> you sleep one hour a night oh my goodness yikes 
That's that's not very much sleep. I'm sorry. I didn't get very much sleep the past two nights, but that's just because I was up hanging out and having fun. Alright, so dough is done. Alright, so we got our dough here. I'm gonna put it in this bowl with the olive oil and flip it over so everything is covered. And then we're gonna just put that towel on top and let it sit for about 30 minutes minimum to rise. It does sound like you need cat cuddles. Oh, for anybody who's been here before, we have a couple new channel point redemptions. So there's a cat cam and there's a fun fact one. <laughs> you have a lot to do, including watching streams. I feel you, I have a lot to do too, so I get that. Uh-oh, can we redeem cat cam? Gotta go find him. All right, so we're gonna put this towel on here. I need another camera, I'm waiting on that to come in. Um, but let me find the cat. Where did he go? There he is. Hi, buddy. Come here. Can you say hi, people? Say hi. Say, I'm just a sleepy boy. <laughs> and I don't like when my mom picks me up. <laughs> Here you go. Sometimes he sits on the counter with me. Your cat's gonna hate me for redeeming it twice. No, he's good. Now he's watching the emotes fly across the screen like, what? How do I catch them? <laughs> he's silly making coffee going up to bed to watch tv and have a doggo cuddle well that sounds like exactly what you need if you haven't been sleeping it's a you good need to get point. that slept owen's been only getting an hour of sleep for the last four weeks it's rough i'm about to be in the same boat do you have a newborn <laughs> i hope not he basically reiterated me when i was telling you right before we talked yeah it's just pushing pump it out okay we'll talk about it later balls the ball baby We'll talk about it later. You good with barbecue chicken pizza? Does a bear go to the bathroom in the woods? It does. We're also going to try that Italian sub salad that I showed you with the turkey and the ham and the pepperoni and everything. Tonight? Yeah. Yes. I'm okay with that. Oh, sorry. What do you need? I need that on um, the eggs, the chicken. The, the, you need the chicken? Love you too, sweetie. I'm gonna love all you guys. You guys are awesome. Alright. Alright, so what we're gonna do is spray. I think I think you might be confused. I was talking to Owen, but I was also talking to Funky Monkey in person. <laughs> um Funky Monkey was the one talking to a manager, but um, I think I think we're confused. Owen is not that Funky Monkey. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put these four chicken breast tenderloins in a skillet on medium heat with salt and pepper, and cook them. And then we're gonna shred them up. I'm gonna cut out the little tendon muscle. And then we're going to shred these up and mix them into our pizza with barbecue. Yeah, so Skiwa just, um, Owen is just a viewer. And that funky monkey who I was just talking to behind me, he's not Owen. <laughs> that, that's really the short version. Thank you for following 3NTR. What, 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 what? I appreciate you so much. Welcome. I'm Kyle. Happy to have you here. Just made some pizza dough, letting that rise. We're gonna make some chicken to put on top of it because we're making barbecue chicken pizza tonight. And then we're gonna make an Italian sub salad. It's gonna be delicious. Push this back there. We're gonna cut up a pineapple, you guys, because much to a lot of people, 
Kate's dismay, we like pineapple on pizza in this house. So, I'm trying to get this out, and we're going to get out a cutting board, and we're going to cut up the pineapple. cow your phone oh no what happened cutting these ends off and we're gonna cut off. We're going to cut down the sides. Easy solution. I'm boring and irrelevant. Funky is awesome and funny. <laughs> no. Oh, it, you are neither of those things. We love you. Don't say that. All right. Oh, no, it's dying. Oh, I'm sorry. Plug it in and hang out with us. I know sometimes that involves getting up and that stinks. So I feel you if you don't want to. We're gonna chop up this pineapple. Use some of it for pizza tonight. There we go, it's charging. All right, good, glad to hear it. We'd love for you to stay and hang out with us. We're not done yet. May I get permission to post a link? Um, as long as it's not to an inappropriate website, sure. Stop tossing your pineapple peels and turn them into tea instead. Nuh uh, that sounds amazing. I'm just, I'm sad that I just put those in the trash can. <laughs> but I might have to keep that in mind for the next time I buy a pineapple and I will definitely read that. Thank you so much for sending that link. I appreciate it. I really appreciate that. All right, so our skillet's heated up. We're gonna toss these pieces of chicken in. Sink here. We're gonna season that with some salt and pepper real quick. If you guys like games, that funky monkey one of our mods, my man who was just in here, he streams on Facebook gaming. He plays Call of Duty. Oh, Sass continuing the sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Never get a bad thing stuff from me. Works for me then. <laughs> Thank you, Sass. Thank you. making tacos tomorrow Ooh, what kind oh um, so I did get a chance to update my schedule for this week you guys tomorrow night that reminded me we are making black beans rice and taco seasoned queso smothered chicken with pico de gallo tomorrow night Wednesday night I'm gonna take the night off to work on blog stuff 
Thursday night, we're going to make, yeah, Thursday night, we're going to make um, garlic parmesan chicken with roasted red potatoes and asparagus and roasted tomatoes. I think it's that night, right? Wednesday night. Today's Monday. What am I doing? Yeah, tomorrow we're making that. Wednesday off. Thursday, the garlic parm chicken. Friday, we're going to make chicken cordon bleu with scalloped or au gratin potatoes and broccoli. And then um, Saturday night, we're going to make grilled cheeses and tomato soup. And probably dessert. So when you say regular tacos, like chicken, beef, pork, veggie, what are you doing? Tell me more about it. Even if you can't stream, you should jump over on uh, Facebook Gaming. Uh, his name is That Funky Monkey. And he plays Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and he's got a good team over there on Facebook Gaming. Jump over and play with him. Let him know you're from my stream. He'll freak out. It's super funny. <laughs> I think it was Jake the other night, who, or maybe Owen, who was like, oh my gosh, I told him I was from your stream, and he freaked out. <laughs> he's in the other room. But, yeah. My house usually isn't clean enough. It's only clean enough because I have to stream. Hello, 301 Lars, what's up? Yeah, do a green screen, that's what Funky does. Beef tacos, yum, that sounds delicious. I'm all for tacos, all the time, love tacos. Taco Tuesday is one of my favorite days of the week, for sure. I'd be happy to help you get it set up. Switching between you and Funky right now. I love it. Love it. All right, we're going to preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit because that's how we cook pizza. And we're going to get out our pizza pan. Loud noises. Um, so we got a pizza crisper that we're going to use tonight. Where's my Pam? Over here. Can I spray it? My husband plays Warzone. You only play multiplayer. He plays all different kinds. I don't play that game, so I don't really know. Am I from Pittsburgh? Heck yeah. Are you from Pittsburgh? Born and raised. I live in Orlando right now, but born and raised in Pittsburgh. You're from Philly, nuh uh. Are you a Philly sports fan? Yikes. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'll like you anyways. It's fine. You live in Cali now. Okay, gotcha. I had a lot of friends from Philly in college. Def a Philly fan. I feel that. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'll always be a Pittsburgh fan. It's, it's, I can't not be a Pittsburgh fan. I can't help it. My dad was a huge sports fan growing up. So was his dad. You can't help it. Love Pittsburgh Penguins hockey. But I'm a fan of other hockey teams too. The Lightning in Tampa are really good. Um, Capitals, uh, Golden Knights. Big Steelers fan as a kid, really? That's surprising. I mean, they were, they were great way, way, way back in the day though. Drink Iron City, right, me too. We, Funky and I actually found Iron City in Orlando in uh, a big grocery store style thing that's just alcohol called Total Wine. I love Iron City, one of my favorite light beers of all time. 
Not just because it's a Pittsburgh beer. It's just a bonus that it's a Pittsburgh beer. Iron City is a great beer. Icy Light Mango is a perfect summer beer, too. I don't even like mango, and I like Icy Light Mango. Sent you a whisper. Sweet. I will check that after stream. Just an FYI, I have a full-time job, so I don't always answer right away, but I will answer you tonight. I promise. I promise. So for our barbecue chicken pizza, we usually do jalapenos, shredded chicken, olive oil, garlic, barbecue sauce, mozzarella cheese, or Monterey Jack cheese. We'll probably do a combination of the two tonight, and then... Uh, we do like a swirl of barbecue sauce on top, usually too. Um, it's going to be super yummy. I'm excited about it. And then we add pineapple too. Mango curry steak tips are killer. That sounds phenomenal. Do you have a recipe that you want to share with me? <laughs> I would love that. Um, just get back to me when you have the time. For sure. I'll send you a message tonight, at least connecting for the first time. For sure. I appreciate you sending a message because by the time stream's done and I get the dishes cleaned up, I forget stuff all the time. Like, I actually already am remembering that Rusty, who is hosting me, I need to send him a message. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Whoops. I, like, went to work today, picked up groceries on the way home, and then put everything away, and now I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot to do everything I was supposed to do. I see pizza in the title, pineapple on screen. First, listen, we've had this conversation several times. We're going to put pineapple on the pizza. It's a barbecued chicken pizza friend. But I'm happy that you're here anyway. <laughs> Wombat is pro pineapple on pizza. I love it. Me too. Let's put on. Change this music up. Draw the line at banana. I mean, banana, no, 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 I don't think so. Not a fan of banana on pizza, I don't think. I've never tried it, but I don't think I would like it. Pineapple is a side dish. Side dishes aren't toppings. It's just cosmic law. All right, whatever you say. Whatever you say. Put this chicken over. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to run and grab a selfie from the other room. may as well put your grapes on pizza. No, it is not the same thing. Grapes and pineapple are so different. Marinate the pineapple and jalapeno juice before putting on pizza. Insane stuff. That sounds really good. I'm going to try that. Do you do like pickled jalapeno juice or fresh jalapeno juice? doing purrs we haven't seen you in a while friend happy to have you back This piece is not done. 
Allen needs one more minute. Lurking for a bit, finally getting the chance to relax. Hello, Life So Daily. How are you, my sweet friend? Life So Daily, if you get a chance, post the link to your website for all of our awesome viewers tonight so they can check it out. She's got a great blog on mental health and wellness. Yes, we're making barbecue chicken pizza and an Italian sub salad. Pickled. Add paprika. Okay, I might try that. Let me give that a shot. Let's shred up this chicken with two forks real quick. Doing well, finish up packing and move on Friday. That's awesome. Are you excited to be done packing? Yes, y'all check out lifesodaily.com. Awesome website. Sweetest human in the world. Good fan of little Miss Nikki if you've seen her in our chat. Good friend of Miss Nikki too. Packing is a chore. It so is. It so is. When we were packing to move to Orlando, I was so stressed. So, so stressed. I feel ya. Alright, I'm gonna shred that up. This is gonna go on top of our pizza. We're gonna check on this dough and see how it's doing. Not quite rising yet. We're gonna put it on the oven so that at least it's near a warm surface. Is a fave of mine for sure. Me too, I'm super excited to have it tonight. I had a stressful day, so I'm excited for pizza. What's everybody else having for dinner tonight? Tell me about what you're eating. Life so daily with you packing. I'm hoping you're eating something easy. <laughs> something quick. Put yourself to a glass of sanity. I sure did. It's right. It's empty. I need another one. <laughs> Work is just busy. That's all. And I was picking up groceries on the way home from work. I was kind of kicking myself for not picking up groceries yesterday. Um, and I picked them up on the way home tonight. And I was like, man, I really should have done it yesterday. But I was like scraping the bottom of the barrel for what we had left in the fridge to throw together meal prep for breakfast and lunch today. Barely had any coffee cream. So it was a mess. But it's okay. I got it done. Had mediocre food today. I'm super excited for yummy food for dinner gonna have another glass of sanity here in a second you don't feel like cooking I hear ya do you have leftovers or something in the freezer that you can eat when I don't feel like cooking I throw together a grilled cheese that's my go-to it's my fave no pizza American please what hi pain 10 how are you I don't recognize your name. You must be new. Welcome. I'm Kyle. Happy to have you here. I'm just shredding up some chicken for our barbecue chicken pizza. Shred the rest of this with my fingers. They're clean. This is not working with the fork. You don't, but it's cool. All right. Well, that works then. Hi, buddy. Our cat freaks out every time I make chicken now. He's going to want some. Oh, no. He's going to get on the counter. Yikes. Shredding this up. We'll give him a little bit of chicken. Here you go, bud. It's hot. There you go. All right, got that shredded up. Tuna melt on rye bread for me tonight in the awesomeness of being signal. Heck yeah. 
One of my favorite things to eat before I met Funky when I had a stressful day and a long day was uh, nachos. I would just put like tortilla chips and a bunch of like veggies or whatever I had in the fridge and just throw cheese on top. Hot sauce, make it work. <laughs> Salsa, whatever. All right, so we got our shredded chicken. We got our jalapeno or our uh, pineapple. Oh, for those of you who cook for one, one of my favorite bloggers, I know it's going to sound weird, dessert for two. She makes dinner recipes, um, small batch, so like two servings, so you could have it for two days. Um, her name is Christina Lane. She's awesome. She's got two little kiddos. Her girl, I think her daughter is like four and her son is like six or nine months. Um, and she does meals for, and desserts for two. When she first moved away to college, she wanted to make her mom and her grandma's recipes and didn't want to make them for a large batch because she was just cooking for herself. So she adapted everything to be smaller scale. And she's got, I think, three cookbooks now. She's awesome. I love her recipes. So if you're looking for somebody who does smaller scale stuff, check her out. Dessertfor2.com. She's got a YouTube channel. She does some stuff with Food Network. I'm Italian, and looking at this, my eyes fall. We didn't make the pizza dough yet. I'm sorry. I mean, it's there. It's rising. We're not done yet. Also been stressed, so you're not alone. I feel like a lot of people are stressed right now with COVID and everything that's going along in the world. It's always rolling munchers. It's so annoying. Hi, Dells. How are you? Welcome to the stream. salad stuff prepped in the meantime. Set these things aside. You're good? Awesome. Happy to have you here. Let's put this out of the way. We're going to cut up some romaine lettuce hearts. Just been doing too much cocaine. That's why I'm wrong, munters. Okay. We're family friendly, just as a heads up, friend. So, let's uh, cool it a bit on the drug talk. appreciate you. You're the best. Well, for all of you who are stressed, what do you do for self-care when you're having a, a stressed time? Wow. You're good. No worries. Just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm always happy to give people just a reminder the first time. I mean, it's not going to be classic Italian pizza by any stretch of the imagination. So if that's going to stress you up, stress you out, then uh, maybe this isn't for you, friend. I'm sorry. I drink for self-care. Okay. Yike. <laughs> yeah. Do you do anything else for self-care, though? Like, I love take a bath, sit with the heating pad. I don't know about anybody else, but I love watching old TV shows. Um, I do appreciate the honesty. I just, you know, I hope you can find some other healthy coping mechanisms too. You know, for me, um, I work in mental health, so I, I just, I'm curious. But, um, you know, I do a lot of different things for self-care. You know, I, I think you have to find a balance. Like, I mean, I drink. You guys see that I drink. But I do other things too. You know, I do... Spa night, a face mask, a bubble bath. Um, I love watching old TV shows that I've seen a million times. You know what I mean? 
Like, I love The Office, Parks and Rec, Bob's Burgers, Friends. Shows I've seen a million times, and I've read a lot about the fact that people who struggle with anxiety do you, well, like love to watch the same shows over and over because there's no level of unpredictability. You know what I mean? Like, you love to watch it because you know what's going to happen. And you're familiar with the character, so it's comforting. So, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Dog keeps you on track. Love some cricket. Awesome. See, there's other good things, right? Alright. Watch Big Bang Theory all the time. Me too! Oh my gosh, Life So Daily. Funky just ordered us some signed prints of Sheldon, Leonard, Howard, Raj... Penny, yeah, those ones, put, to put in frames for the wall. Super cool. I love that show. We literally spent the whole day yesterday watching that. We're watching around season 10. So, like, where Howard and Bernadette just had the second baby and everything. Us Brits love our cricket. Yes, you do. All right, so we're going to chop... Italian sub salad we're gonna do lettuce we've got tomato um, onions some cheese some turkey ham and pepperoni we're gonna do banana peppers olives and we're gonna make a dressing BBT crazy my son bought it and made me the BBT Lego set that's awesome We got a little can of olives. We're gonna drain this. Oh no, I broke it. I have to use the can opener now. It's all good. Make do. It's a great show. Honestly, I think the Big Bang Theory was underrated. It's really funny. off of these two Roma tomatoes get them chopped up aggressive cooking here we go yup get it all chopped up Yes, those Miss Nikki and Pantry Elf emotes. I love it. Rusty Rhymes with the 10 bitties. Thank you so much for the bits, Rusty. I appreciate you. I owe you a direct message, whisper about the Asian cookbook, and I forgot to do it because I went to the grocery store and got distracted, but I will do it. I promise. <laughs> All right, so we chopped up some lettuce, some tomato. We got some black olives. We're going to chop some banana peppers, some cheese, some turkey ham, pepperoni make our little Italian sub salad here. It's going to be awesome. Angry chef cracks me up, right? Isn't that the best? Got a big handful of banana peppers here. Corn 
quiet, but you've been here. Awesome. Well, we're happy to have you here, even if you're quiet. I know you pop between a lot of people's streams because you're super supportive of other streamers. Y'all check out Rusty if you haven't already. He and his wife do awesome stuff. He does some streams by himself. They do some streams together. It's a great channel. Up. Right, let's get out some. Okay, let's do this. We're going to put I'm going to put this in a container because I know Funky's not going to eat right away so I'll put mine together and he can eat later. I promise. I'm not going to hurt myself. And if I do, nobody will blame it on you guys. It'll be my fault. Alright, so tomatoes, banana peppers, lettuce, olives. Saw that Funky was streaming on Facebook. Yes, he is. He sure is. He streamed for a little bit today, took a break, and now he went back to it. Get out a red onion here. Get this onion peeled. The last time you said that, you almost lost a foot. I wasn't looking at the stream. I was looking at my dad calling me, but you're right. <laughs> my dad never calls me. And what's so funny is that that night there was nothing wrong. But we had been going through some family stuff in the weeks before that. So I was worried that something might be wrong um, when he called. And there was nothing wrong. He just wanted to show me the TV that they bought. But, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Um, and I got distracted. But you're right. I did. I'll be okay. doing okay my blister is healing just itchy at this point but other than that I'm good life so daily with a 15 bits thank you so much I appreciate you guys so much you're the best life so daily super supportive if you guys have not already please go check out her website life so daily.com all about mental health and wellness super important what's up Nay? how you doing Fran Sister Fran. How was your day today? Nay, my friend, do you still stream or did you stop? Nay used to stream some games. chicken and make pizza dough, but he really is. You don't think it's for you? Oh, okay. Well, I was going to shout you out if you did. Never mind. <laughs> no, sorry. I was talking to Nay. It's all good. I feel you. It, it can be a lot of a lot of stress. Life so daily says hello. hello. He says hello. He came out to get a drink, I think. Right now he's playing with the cat. <laughs> All right, so banana pepper, tomato, black olive, red onion, lettuce, and we're gonna cut up our meats and cheeses now, and it's gonna be a freaking awesome salad. Italian sub salad, y'all. One more cutting board for those. We already all the cutting boards tonight, but that's fine. Hi. What's up? What's up? I don't know. I was saying hey to whoever said hey. Oh, life's a daily. 
What's up, life? Funky needs to be doing this to protect your shoulder. I'm okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate I'll do it. What, what, what am I doing? No, I'm good, sweetie. What am I doing? I'm good. What am I doing? Nothing. I'll do it. Whatever it is. Nothing. Check the pizza dough. See how it is. Ah, my shoulder. Jesus. Lifting that towel was just too much for me. Matching shirts. Always. Well, not always, but... Most of the time. Yeah. You know, I'm getting there. I, just, I might need a bra soon. Keep going the way I'm going. All right, enough. <laughs> Don't want to hear it. Well, you want to have matching shirts for real. Wasn't talking about that kind of matching shirts, bro. But that's funny. Not funny, bro. Go away. It's kind of funny. Go away. Don't bro me. Don't know me. He always says that. I'm like, yeah. you know we've been dating for three years. Like, I sleep next to you. I'm pretty sure I know you pretty well, but okay. All right, so we're cutting our cheese into little strips. Totally love the guy as she loves her best couple on Twitch. Yes, we. I love him. He's the best. <laughs> He's the best. We're gonna chop this cheese up into little pieces. Uh oh. Wanna become fan? Okay, no, no. No thanks, peeps. Appreciate you, but no thanks. Yeah, he's sitting in the background. Oh no, he left. Darn. <laughs> Cheese. We're gonna cut up some turkey and ham and pepperoni to put in this. It's gonna be delicious. How old is Cat Cat? Nay, he just turned six in March. He's gonna be a senior citizen next year. <laughs> Can you believe it? Cat Cat was a kitten basically when I met you. It's crazy. I'm getting old. He's an old man. Come here, bud. Cat Cat, come here, buddy. You want some lunch meat? I should get him out here. Hey, Cat Cat, do you want some turkey? I know, he was a baby. And honestly, so was Aaron, though. And Aaron's not a baby anymore. Seeing Aaron and Hottie grow up is too much for me. I can't. When Nay and I met, we had two uh, sisters who have now kids who are way grown up and who were babies when I met them. <laughs> True, he's 6'2", <two>, right? <laughs> he is. Oh, it's so weird. So, so weird. I can't. Sorry, you're back. All right, what's up, Owen? We're here. We're making an Italian sub salad, chopping some pepperoni, some ham, some turkey, lettuce, tomato, olive, banana pepper, cheese, all the things. I know. She was. She was little. All right, so we got our pepperoni. Got our turkey. Y'all can hear Funky yelling about Call of Duty in the background. <laughs> about time to prep this pizza. If y'all are not already, check out the Discord and my Instagram. That's where you get to see a lot of the finished product pictures for the results of the stream. Does he play Apex Legends? Um, he has in the past. Most of the time he plays Call of Duty. Um, he's played a lot of different games, but when he streams, he plays Call of Duty. So, then we got our cheese here. Alright, so we got all those meats cut up, set that aside. Get that into the sink. 
put this out. Let me put some of these things back in the fridge real quick. It's about time to roll out that pizza dough. Finally on Discord joined you tonight. Sweet! So excited! I'll definitely have to check that out because Nikki and I are talking about making another one that we can invite you to for like inspiration and mental health awareness and things like that. He's the one that is quiet and called Malty, right? <laughs> no, he's never quiet. All right, so we're gonna get our pizza dough rolled out here onto our crisper sheet. We're gonna top it with some olive oil, some garlic, some barbecue sauce, some chicken, cheese, jalapenos, and pineapple. What is up, Dark Locks, I guess it is? Did I pronounce that right? How are you today? Is it hard to spread? No, not really. It's just like pressing out cookie dough or something like that into the bottom of a pan. Not really. All right, so we're going to put some olive oil. Oh, look, there's the cat. Put some olive oil on this, spread that out across our dough. Let me soften my hands real quick. Yeah, it's not like a traditional Italian pizza necessarily. You're right. Alright, we're going to put some garlic on here. You can skip this if you don't like garlic, but we do. We're going to hoard off all the vampires. Ow. How? We're going to add garlic. I don't know if y'all can hear him yell how. That was kind of funny timing. He's not yet talking to me, but that was funny. Mmm, garlic. Yes, lots of garlic. All right, so next comes some barbecue sauce. And then we'll add some cheese and chicken and our veggies and then more. Alright, barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm just gonna spread this this way. My hands are clean, it's fine. Garlic is the meaning of life, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> It's the meaning of my life, if that counts for anything. What's up, Chef Tommy? Pomodoro, mozzarella, and basilico. <laughs> How are you, Chef Tommy? My hands. I, they're clean, I promise. They're clean. I washed them. I promise, I promise, I promise. You know I wouldn't without it. Y'all, if you are not already, check out Chef Tommy Gun. He just became affiliate, does some awesome food streams. He made some delicious food this weekend. Jalapeno poppers broke out the torch. Um, he got some awesome food on his stream. He made dessert. He pied himself in the face to get affiliate. And if that's not content, I don't know what is. Check him out, y'all. Awesome, professionally trained has great streams had that pie in his face oh my gosh yeah <laughs> absolutely in his face all right so we're gonna start with this open mozzarella of course chef tommy of course we're gonna put this mozzarella in the middle spread that out and then we'll open up our other bag do a little thin layer of cheese to start open up our other cheese. 
don't want to get funky pie, y'all got to get 65,000 channel points. <laughs> get it done. I'm encouraging it. Y'all think I don't want to pie funky in the face? I so do. Get the 65,000 channel points. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I might have to change it. He doesn't know that I know how to change them anymore. <laughs> he used to do that stuff for me, but now I figured it out for myself. Can we combine points? We might have to. I think y'all might have to. Yeah, we probably should. You're right, Life So Daily. Combine the points, lower the points. We'll talk about that after stream tonight. Maybe I'll convince him that we should do it. All right, so now we're going to add our shredded chicken on top. Checking around here. You should just do it and not tell him. I should. That'd be funny. He might be listening. <laughs> All right. So we put our chicken on. Some more cheese here. I'm waiting for him to pop out and be like, I'm listening to your stream. <laughs> You have pressure, Funky be getting extremely hungry and frustrated, right? On the phone with your parents. All right, Rusty, we're here, friend. We're going to add some pickled jalapenos. You could add fresh ones if you'd like a little bit more spice. How was your day today, Chef Tommy? Oh, you got my full attention on the phone with my parents. I love it. <laughs> I missed that first part. That's hilarious. Oh, you were. Okay. All right. Well, we're glad to have you here. Good. Glad to hear it. Yesterday, Funky and I spent basically the whole day watching The Big Bang Theory and relaxing. that this is gonna freak everybody out but pineapple are you off work I am I get off at 5 p.m. I had to go to the grocery store on the way home and now I'm here Red onions. You're working from home? Oh no, I am not. Working in the office still, unfortunately. But y'all, here is this pizza. Olive oil, garlic, barbecued chicken, cheese, onions, jalapenos, red and pineapple are gonna be amazing. Oven is at 500. We're gonna pop this baby in there for about 12 to 15 minutes. 9.20. It is barbecued chicken. And then we're going to put together our salad. Looks awesome. Pizza. Okay, Rusty. Come on. Pizza has pineapple. <laughs> I know we have a disagreement about this stuff, y'all, but we put pineapple on our pizza. And then you can drizzle more uh, barbecue. Pizza, yes, but hold the peppers. Yeah, I used to not do it. Funky likes them. And I actually got used to it. Put these away. And these away. Put this away. Give me one second. I'm going to throw a few things in the pantry. We're going to build a salad real quick with the stuff that I cut up. Got my bowl. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do my green bowl. Fun fact for a thousand points. Oh, okay. 
So fun fact, I sprained my ankle four times in four years, same ankle. I have Funky talking about pineapple on pizza. I hear him. <laughs> Help rid me of my stocked up points. I love it. Okay. So, for our little Italian sub salad, I've got lettuce. I've got tomato. How did you pull the fact out so fast? Because I planned it when I put it. I planned what my first one was going to be when I put the uh, fun fact thing up, but thanks. Uh-oh, everybody's redeeming fun fact. Crap, now I can't use the same one. Okay, way to go, Cumie, come on. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh gosh, you guys are killing me. Okay, Chef Tommy Gun, fun fact. I can no longer eat salmon because I threw it up once and now I can't stomach it. Um, Y'all are killing me, oh my God. Okay, Rusty Rhymes redeemed fun fact. I've never broken a bone, even though I'm clumsy. Rusty Rhyme redeemed fun fact. Um, my cat was a stray found on the side of the road. Rusty Rhyme redeemed fun fact. My cat had five brothers and I was only able to afford to adopt one. Chef Tommy Gun redeemed fun fact. Y'all are freaking killing me. Oh my gosh. Um, I speak some Arabic. That's a fun fact. Cue me, redeemed fun fact. Um, let's see. Let's see. I didn't go to Disney World until I was an adult. Chef Tommy Gun, redeemed fun fact. Um. <laughs> What's another fun fact? I don't have a lot of fun facts. Crap, I should take this down. <laughs> um, Funky and I met on Tinder. That's a fun fact. Ski wishes redeemed fun fact. Uh, peanut butter used to be one of my favorite foods. Rusty Rhymed redeemed fun fact. I didn't see Star Wars until I was 26 years old. There you go. <laughs> if, you, if you lowered the points, Funky could use it for that instead. I love it. Redeem feed Funky. I don't know. You choose something. All right. There's the cat. Totally love our chat and your stream. I love you guys being here. Oh, I missed Kumi's back. Oh, come on. I thought I got Kumi. Um, 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 um. I've never stayed overnight in a hospital for me. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay. So, lettuce, tomato, some banana peppers, some black olives. Rusty Rhymes redeemed fun fact. Um, <laughs> let's see. You could totally keep going. Crap. I should have thought about this, you guys. Um, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. I'm a mental health first aid instructor for adult and youth. That's a fun fact. Um, I'm not that interesting, you guys. I don't have a lot of fun facts. <laughs> um, fun fact, Funky doesn't have a belly button. There's a fun fact. He was born without a belly button. He's Kyle XY. I told him for, uh, you guys have to help me convince him. I told him for Halloween, we should go as Kyle XY and he should wear a belly shirt. And he was like, no one's gonna get it. And I was like, but if you wear a belly shirt and mine th says Kyle when we stand next to each other, everybody will get it. Yeah, no, he was born with his intestines outside of his stomach, actually. He doesn't have a belly button. It's not a fun fact about me, but it is a fun fact. <laughs> yeah, um, so his, his intestines were born outside of his, of his stomach. Uh, it's really, really uncommon. I forget what it's called. Gastroschisis, maybe? Um, it's really rare, but... At any point in his life, his intestines could like flip and cause a bunch of problems. It's kind of scary, actually. Fun fact, favorite game, favorite movie. Um, fun fact, favorite movie since growing up has been Wizard of Oz. My <laughs> quick go fun fact time. Thank you, Kumi. Um, 
my nanny growing up who watched me when my parents were working, my mom stopped working when my little sister was born. Um, she and I are four years apart, but um, when <laughs> my nanny I had when I was younger loved The Wizard of Oz, and that was her favorite movie to watch, and so it became my favorite movie too. Um, favorite game. I love Cards Against Humanity. In terms of like computer games or video games, I love Spyro. One of my faves, for sure. You guys are going to get to know me real quick because I don't have a whole lot of fun facts. <laughs> Alright, so we did lettuce, tomato, red onion, black olive, um, banana pepper. We're going to add some turkey, some ham, some pepperoni, and some cheese. We're going to make a dressing too. You could do Italian dressing on this. I unfortunately cannot have Italian dressing because, fun fact, <laughs> I am allergic to a NATO. Um, so can't have that, and it's an Italian salad dressing. So we're gonna make homemade dressing. But you could also do balsamic, you could do Greek, you could make your own dressing, whatever options you like. Funky, according to Funky, pineapple belongs on pizza. It does, we agree. We agree. You can't give your fun fact away for free. <laughs> I gave it away by accident. All right, so a good dressing that you could throw together for this would be, oh goodness, some olive oil, it's about a quarter cup. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. Olive oil, red wine, she was on a roll with fun facts and kept going, right? <laughs> I so did, I so did. All right, so we got our olive oil, our red wine vinegar, we're gonna do some salt and pepper. You could add Italian seasoning and garlic. Those would all be good things in here. oil and vinegar for our Italian hoagies or balsamic dressing uh, but like I said Italian dressing will work Greek will work um, balsamic will work all the above and we just have to make a lot of things homemade because of my food allergies and Funky's food allergies between being allergic to fish shellfish and a natural flavoring and coloring ingredient we're kind of screwed <laughs> Somebody tell me a fun fact about them. I just shared a lot of fun facts about me. <laughs> All right, so we got our veggies. Fun fact, I'm a ginger. <laughs> okay, but everybody knew that. Lame but true. No, that's not lame. I have so much fun with you guys. I'm glad that you have fun here too. Toby had a sister named Grandmaster Kudumono. That's amazing. Kumi, is your twin a girl or a boy? I always wanted a twin. And Kumi knows Japanese. That's amazing. Alright, I'm checking on that. Fun fact, I think you're cool. Fun fact, I think you're cool. <laughs> 10, 7, 5, 4, and 3. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, Funky has two kiddos, and they are 8 and 9. And they are amazing. 
Everyone in my family is over six feet tall except for me. I'm 5'7". Nuh-uh. I'm short. I'm 5'2". Don't ask. I can go on roller coasters. I'm tall enough. <laughs> I'm not a midget. Um, I have done three speeches in front of 500 people and I'm still young. Won't say how old though. That's awesome. I, so fun fact, <laughs> I was super nervous about public speaking when I was a kid and I got over it because of a really great teacher looking for a good man. Life's a daily. Oh my gosh. Right. Good men are hard to find. They are so hard to find. I had some crappy men before I met Funky. He's a good one. He's a keeper. Um, your twin's a guy. We look nothing alike. You look like your older brother. Oh, cool. You have kids 40, 38, 36, 34, and your oops, 19. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. I hated public speaking as a kid. Now I'm a teacher. My, uh, my model UN teacher or sponsor slash history teacher is the reason I'm able to even do public speaking. I know I missed a message earlier from Life So Daily. How did I get the job that I have? Um, I have a bachelor's degree in nothing <laughs> that is related to my job at all. I went to school for a year and a half at a small private university called Duquesne in Pittsburgh. I studied international relations. It was really, really expensive, and my mom's parents, my actually my mom's um, dad, I have a tattoo for on my wrist. He was my all-time hero, still is, um, best man I've ever known. Um, and he left me some money for college, but not enough to afford four full years at the university that I was going to. And so I ended up getting a scholarship and transferring to Georgia State, and um, that's where I met Nay. Nay's turn, 23. And uh, I ended up studying Middle East studies in Arabic. I'm part Syrian, part of why I have an Arabic tattoo. You would never know from me being presenting white and Irish. Um, but yeah, and I ended up, when I graduated, I had worked with the International Rescue Committee doing refugee resettlement services. And the job that I was promised at a new office fell through. And I had already signed an 18 month lease in Athens and I wanted to make it work. So I worked for a month and a half at a god awful telemarketing company where if my phone was facing up on my desk, I'd get sent home without pay, without pay for the day. If I clocked in a minute late from lunch, I'd get sent home. If I clocked in a minute late getting there, I'd get sent home. It was awful, so, so bad. So, so bad. Rusty with the 100 biddies. Thank you, friend. Thank you. We love you and ladies so much. Um, and then I ended up working for Child Protective Services for about 13 months. And that's where I met Funky. And with the job opportunity he got for um, us to move here to Florida, I was able to take some time off of work and reflect because it was a really hard job. And um, I got a lot of experience with substance abuse and mental health during that job and honestly the main reason I have the job that I have now is because one of my two supervisors worked in Child Protective Services before me and she said you know what if you worked in Child Protective Services you can handle anything and I'm confident in hiring you and so she's actually not even my main supervisor but because of her I got my job and I got to teach mental health first aid and I got my, my job paid for me to get certified in youth and adult mental health first aid, so it's awesome. I've been a teacher for a year and a half for adult and a year for, uh, for youth, mental health first aid. It's amazing. You should look the program up, mental health first aid. It's in several different countries. I'm a streamer, YouTuber, and business owner, only a teenager. So yeah, that's freaking awesome, Owen. Oh my gosh, teach me your ways. <laughs> 10 days to get to the bit goal. Hmm. Yeah, we have a bit goal for the month, but if we don't reach it, it's all good. All good. Yeah. Um, life so daily. I was loving, I was wanting to talk to you and Nikki about it too, because it'd be so cool to be able to share more about that program on our mental health stream. Really awesome. It's a really great program. It's so important. The fact that you went the way you went makes you even more lovable. Fun fact, you're an awesome human being. Kudos. You 
guys are too much. I'm going to cry. I'm having too much of an emotional week. <laughs> Don't do this to me. But thank you, Skeelicious. I appreciate you so, so much. Nay, with the 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Ugh, you guys are killing me. Also, I miss Nay a lot. So for those of you who don't know, I know Nay in real life. <laughs> and every time she pops in, I realize how much I miss all my Atlanta friends. My ways are wanting to work to earn things and want to be successful and help others. Well, if you know anything about SEO and advertising, let me know. Because I would love to do more food and mental health and wellness and do this all the time. Let's check on this pizza. It needs another minute. It's not quite done yet. But the salad, though. Look at all that goodness in that salad. One salad. Let's put some of this dressing in there. You have some SEO experience? Oh, if you got SEO experience, come my way. Let me know. Oh, this pizza smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. So, so good. Yes, so one of the things we've never made on stream that we have to make, is anybody familiar with the concept of a Pittsburgh salad? So a Pittsburgh salad usually has like a garden salad feel. So like lettuce, tomato, cucumber, uh, onion, that kind of stuff. But it also has meat and french fries. Like what? If you're from Pittsburgh or you know Pittsburgh food, there's something called a Primanti's sandwich. And you add french fries and coleslaw to your sandwich because truckers didn't used to be able to eat like a sandwich and fries on the road so they would just slap the french fries and the coleslaw right onto that sandwich oh my goodness cue me with the biddies thank you so much my friend you're the best you're the best um so yeah for manny sub like thick bread meat cheese lettuce tomato coleslaw and french fries right on there and then a pittsburgh salad is basically that in a bowl it's amazing like french fries on a salad if you have not done it Oh my God, you need to. <laughs> We're gonna do it one night on stream. We haven't made them in a long time. We gotta do it one night when Funky's not streaming so the french fries are fresh. Oh my gosh, yeah, look it up. Primani sandwich, I'll type it in chat so you can see what it, how it's spelled. They ship across the country now too. It's called Primani Bros. Just Google that and you'll see the sandwiches. They're legendary. You're a uh, How I Met Your Mother fan. Legendary. <laughs> so good. So good. Whew. It smells phenomenal. Like, oh my god. So I added fun fact, and everybody just made my life miserable and did fun fact over and over and over and over and over. Why, did so, you add, why would you call it miserable? No, I just, I ran out of fun hey, facts. I'm not that interesting. I had to tell them you didn't have a belly button. <laughs> Did you tell them why? Yeah. The jet ski? <laughs> no. You gotta keep telling them. So right can now. somebody, oh wait, Rusty Rhymes redeemed fun fact three times in a row. Yikes. Okay, oh, four Jesus. times. Okay, so fun fact, when Funky and I met and I saw his belly button for the first time, or lack thereof. She freaked out. He told me that he had been shot, and that's why he looked the way that he did. Second fun fact, when I questioned him on it, he told me I was not shot, I was stabbed. And I believed him for like two weeks. And then I told her... The real story. No, I told you the jet ski thing, didn't I? No. Oh, so I used to tell people that I fell on the back of a jet ski? Water sprays, you know, things like that? I said the, the pressure, I don't know. I love that he came out at the exact right time. Oh, Owen with the 500 bits. Mwah. Thank you so, so much. We Thank you, Big Joe. You. Fun fact. I love her. Aw. Funner fact? It's fun to smack her around. Does that ah. count as one of my four fun facts, Rusty? No, we got one more to go. <laughs> okay, so I have two more because he, he did four. Oh, uh, wait. Was it? No, it was three. Never mind. It was three. Oh, just kidding. It was four. And then Kumi redeemed one. Oh my goodness! Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was two. He told me that he was shot and stabbed. Um, another fun fact. Funky loves me. There you go. That's three. So then we need four and five. Um, <laughs> fun fact, our first date was in a bar. Um, fun fact, Funky and I moved in together after two weeks of, me of knowing each other, period. That's a fun fact. That's crazy. We're nuts. Um, fun fact, I don't know. What's a fun fact? What's fun about me? Nothing. I know, right? <laughs> he goes, nothing. <laughs> You're flipping aw. You deserve the bit. Thank you. We already knew Funky loved you. That doesn't count. All right, here's a fun fact. What's a fun fact about me? Our third date was going paintball. Like we played paintball. <laughs> She's never, never played, played before. before. So I'm over here, like, I played my entire life. So I'm over here just, I, actually, I think I was wearing these shorts. You were. But uh, nothing, nothing else. No shirt, barely a mask. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm over there getting it. The two teams were playing TDM. The two teams, it was one other guy versus her. Guy whip, rips around about right here from her, and instead of being a gentleman and going, bang, I shot you, ooh, you're out, you know, go ahead and leave the course. He just comes up and goes, tick, 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 just lights her up right on her side. Hip, She's got this, I mean, this huge bruise. The moment I knew I was in love was when she, I mean, she's crouched, ready to go. This happens, she turns around. And she has her gun in one hand, just about to beat this guy. And then just I like this. Like, and Argh. he and his brother yelled, He's a minor, don't do oh, it! Oh, we're like, he's underage! I we like, thought we were I thought we thought she was about to kill this I guy. Was, and was. that's when I knew I was in love. I was like, right there. <laughs> that's a keeper. When she's about to beat the snot out of somebody. Yay, chat. That's super great. Love your stream. My <laughs> wife and I first date was paintball. That's amazing! You had never paintball before. I was terrified. Paintball um, was amazing. I was so scared. So terrified. I was so scared. I had never been paintballing. I didn't know what to do. And I wanted so bad for him to like me. And I was just like, I have to be cool about this. Like, I'm terrified. And for most of the match, I like crouched and hid. But then somehow I ended up, because I crouched and hid, I guess, being like the last one alive. <laughs> like, what? What in the world am I gonna do? It was awful. Um, Another fun fact, I'm terrified of spiders, snakes, roaches, bugs, all the above. Oh, you redeem Feed Funky. I will feed him, I promise. I will take him a piece of pizza when, in one second when I cut it. He will be happy about that. Thank you for the channel points. I appreciate it. Um, cue me, Rusty, and Pika. Three more facts. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fun fact. Um, 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 um. Fun fact, my dad has survived cancer twice in two years, which is freaking awesome. He's the greatest. Um, Rusty redeemed fun fact. Let's see. What's another fun fact about me? Rusty redeemed fun fact, fun fact. Um, one of my favorite smells of all time is fresh brewed coffee. That's a fun fact. I guess. Um, Pika redeemed fun fact. <laughs> Ooh, fun fact. One time before I met Funky, I went on a first date and I told the guy I didn't want to see him again and he found my house and stabbed my tire with a screwdriver. That's a fun fact. <laughs> um, it's 2.45 a.m. Need to go to sleep. Your brother's coming down. Catch you soon. Oh, and have a good night. Thank you so much for the biddies and for being here. I hope you have so much fun with your brother. I will catch you next time. Gaming night. Gaming. What is my favorite dish? Rusty, it changes with time. You know, lately during summer, one of my favorite things is like a good fresh salad with some grilled chicken. Um, I'm loving like lettuce, tomato, red onion, and chicken right now. A ton. Like, I love... Mexican food and salads lately like chicken fajitas um, Nachos burrito bowls all that stuff queso homemade salsa um, It changes with time sometimes it's pizza sometimes it's comfort food sometimes it's Mexican um, I don't know it, it varies. I don't know if other people are like that. My favorite food is 
It depends on the season of life and the time of the year. Like during the winter, I love me a good chili. For sure. Um, summer, I'm all about like fresh veggies in a salad and fruits and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if other people are like that, but. Should have made pizza to get his love. Thank you, Skeelicious, but he already loved me before I made him pizza, so I was locked in. <laughs> Bucky and I are weird. Like, we, I say we're weird, but we knew very quickly from both having had really bad relationships before each other exactly what we wanted. And so that's why, like, on our, on our third date, so, like, our first date was drinks. Second date was dinner that he made for me and third date was paintball the next day we were already in a relationship by that third day we hadn't even known each other a week oh not even a week and a half later we were living together like we just knew and i know it sounds cliche and stupid and like i always used to like roll my eyes and go Ugh, at people who were like that but i i having met him i fully believe when you know you know like we just we knew like, he made me food, we hung out, we spent so much time together, and, like, we got to know each other so much. We sat there, and we were just, like, we played, like, 20 questions. It was, like, I want to get to know you. Tell me. And I remember, like, one of the first things I asked him was, like, tell me what your, like, favorite and least favorite smells are. And it was, like, he's, like, why? And I was, like, because it tells you so much about a person. Like, my three favorite smells are fresh laundry, fresh coffee, and fresh homemade bread. You know, like, because I love to cook and because I love the smell of clean stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, that, like, you get to know somebody so well with those little questions. It doesn't. What's up, Psycho Hunter? How are ya? My wife and I spent every day together from the start. Oh, my gosh, we did, too. Like, we met on a Wednesday. It was our, f so we, we matched on Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday night, we talked on the phone. We had our first date. Thursday night, he had the kiddos um, after school. Friday night he worked, Saturday he asked me out to lunch, and I was busy, but I said, how about dinner? So then Saturday night he made me dinner, um, and I spent the night, and <laughs> we had a great night, and then we, uh, we went paintballing, he made me dinner again, we watched a movie, we were in a relationship, spent all day Monday with him, it was Labor or Memorial Day weekend, and then, like, within a week of going back and forth between each other's houses, we were just like, dude, let's move in together, we can't do this anymore. Um, and we've been together over three years, and we're very, very happy. Sorry, you're having internet issues. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Mrs. Ellis. I always want to know something. Tell me. Tell me the things. All the things. We're going to cut this pizza while you tell me the things. Need to do some stuff gonna work. Ever had sweet potato biscuits or fried peanut butter and banana sandwich? Fried peanut butter, banana sandwich, and bacon? For sure. Love it. Um, have you ever had a burger with fried bananas and bacon and peanut butter? Because the Vortex in Atlanta has an Elvis burger with like a bacon cheeseburger with banana and our caramelized banana and peanut butter. So good. Love the combination of 
bacon, peanut butter, banana for sure. I've never had sweet potato biscuits, but that sounds amazing. I might have to try that. My husband and I have never been on a date in the six years you've been married. Like a date outside of the house, you mean? Because we, I mean, obviously, date night in. We do date nights in a lot. <laughs> you require za. Walmart. You met at Walmart. What? No. -uh. You require za. Here's your za. Here's your za. Yum. Yum. So, so good. Let me walk down the aisle and bump into my husband. Requirement fulfilled. Awesome. I'll take it. Thank you, Kumi. Thank you. You'll be lurking? All right. How are you doing, Grandma? Thought we haven't seen you in a while. Let's try this salad. Mm mm mm. Yum. That dressing is good, you guys. Really yummy. Italian sub in a bowl. Kind of like the salads you get at Subway. So, for any of you guys who are new, we do have Facebook, website, and Instagram where you get a lot of the recipes and the finished product pictures. So check those out. We have a Discord. I usually update Discord and Instagram with what we're making and when we're going live. We'll be live tomorrow night. We're going to make um, rice, black beans, taco seasoned chicken, and queso and pico de gallo. Wednesday night, we're going to take the night off. Thursday, we're doing garlic parmesan chicken, red potatoes, and roasted veggies. Friday, chicken cordon bleu, scallop potatoes, and broccoli. Saturday, grilled cheese and tomato soup. Lots of good stuff coming this week. Lots and lots of good stuff. Let's see who's on if we can find someone to raid. Me too, Life So Daily. Me too. Went to a big grocery store today as a celebration. Awesome. Tested for COVID. Came back negative. That's amazing. I love it. Go to the grocery store in celebration of not being positive for COVID. Super fun. All right, let's see. Ooh, let's raid Friendly Riley. She is making sweet and sour pineapple chicken. Thank you guys so much for being here for all the fun fact redemption and making it so much fun being here tonight for the, for the subs and the bits and all those things. I appreciate you guys so, so much more than you know. When you have pancakes, if you have sausage or bacon, do you dip the sausage or bacon into syrup? Absolutely. For sure. So we're going to raid um, Friendly Riley. But I hope you guys come with me and check her out. I've been to her channel before. She is awesome. It was truly a fun back redemption. I love it. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys so, so much. We'll be live tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We are making... Queso smothered chicken with pico and rice and black beans gonna be so so good so so good all right let's go check out friendly riley i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow ta-ta for now <laughs>
All right, three, two, one, it's a race.